welcome back to Salem, Massachusetts. We're having dinner at Turner's Seafood, and this restaurant is in the building where Alexander Graham Bell gave his first telephone call. How cool is that? Yeah, a little fun fact for you. So we are enjoying right now a crab pie. It's basically a bunch of crab meat with butter and breadcrumbs dipped in more butter <laughs> and some wonderful mussels. And they're in a sauce made with a white Belgian beer. And that's the beer that we're drinking, so it pairs really nicely together. So yeah, we're just enjoying this. And after this, we're heading to a walking tour of Salem. We're gonna learn about the witch trials and the maritime history and a bunch of things, so that should be really neat. Guys, these mussels are so good, and the sauce is like, I could drink it. Mm. Oh yeah. Delayed there. Cheers. Cheers. We just got to our hotel for the night, which we're gonna give you a lot of info on in just one minute. But we just wanted to tell you how amazing our tour with Bewitched After Dark was. There are so many walking tours in Salem, but I'm pretty sure we found the best one. Oh, absolutely. Our tour guide was so well versed. He knew so much about the history of Salem and the witch trials. He told us he grew up in the area and he was just fascinated at an early age and just started studying it. We learned so much. I just soaked it up like a sponge and I, yeah, I just, I feel like we can appreciate Salem so much more now. Oh yeah, it makes it so much more real walking through the streets and seeing the old buildings when you know what happened at those locations. It was a great tour. Okay, so now that we told you about the tour, we have to tell you about where we're staying tonight. Guys, we're so excited about this because tonight we're staying in a historical building in Salem that dates back to the 19th century and it's also known to be haunted. We're so excited about this. Oh, we're so geeked out. So tonight we're staying in the Salem Inn. And when we checked in earlier today, we kind of walked around the property. It's a very unique hotel because it's spread across three different buildings. We're staying in the main building known as the West House. The West House was built in 1834 by Nathaniel West himself, but that's not all they have on the property. We also walked past the Kerwin House. It was built in 1854. And it's a great place for couples looking for our staycation because the Kerwin house is strictly adults only. The third house we walked past is the Peabody house. It was built in 1874 and it's the perfect choice if you're traveling with your family or it's also suited for parties as well. But I think the most special experience you can have here is in the room that we are staying in. Oh, hands down. We are in room 17 of the West house, which is known to be the haunted room. Apparently this is a spot where staff and guests have reported the most paranormal activity. Whether it's items being moved from one location to another or shadows lurking in the distance, this is the place where stuff happens, I guess. And there are three ghosts that are known to inhabit the Salem Inn. One is a cat, which I think that would be adorable. A yeah. cat ghost. I mean, that's okay. That could come in our room tonight. I'm, I'm down with that. Then there's a little boy who I guess you can hear like a little creepy. Balls bouncing and a child laughing. Yeah, that's kind of the creepiest. And the ghost that inhabits this room, um, they refer to as Catherine. Um, or Elizabeth, right? We or Elizabeth. That too. I guess Elizabeth was the name of Nathaniel West's wife, and she was believed to have some extramarital affairs. He so. had extramarital affairs, oh. that's why she... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're gonna piss her off. But apparently you could win some favor with her if you leave either whiskey or alcohol out. All we have is craft beer, so Catherine, I hope you like New England IPA. We'll leave one out for you tonight. But apparently if you leave some alcohol out, she'll let you have a restful night's sleep, and that's what we're hoping for, so. Yeah, I think we're gonna go pour a beer for Catherine and hit the hay, and we'll see you in the morning. We'll show you guys more of Salem tomorrow morning, so yeah. we'll see you then. Hopefully we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Catherine likes her beer, I guess. <laughs> Good night. I feel like I'm leaving out cookies and milk for Santa Claus. Similar, a little <laughs> different. There you go, Catherine. Okay.
be aware of this, but Salem is home to a lot of the buildings that were used in the movie Hocus Pocus. And our tour guide last night pointed out one in particular. This is the town hall where the famous dance scene of I Put a Spell on You was filmed. And we're gonna walk around and look at a few more. We just walked into the Salem Witch Trial Memorial. They have a beautiful memorial here with benches for each of the 25 victims of the Salem Witch Trials. And this memorial sits right next to the Charter Street Cemetery, which is our nation's second oldest cemetery. The first oldest I'd is I'd say in... it's old as dirt, wouldn't you? <laughs> The first oldest is in Boston. Apparently they've had some vandalism here in recent years and they're doing a lot to try to fix that issue. They have recently put cameras in and they shut it down every October because as you know, Salem is a hot spot during the Halloween season and there's been at times over 500 people in this cemetery. So these tombstones are very old and really a part of the Salem history. So they wanna preserve that as much as possible. beer selection here and we got a little snack plate but after this we're gonna hit the road we're heading to Portland Maine next so if you want to follow our adventures there make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot more of the coast to show you and we don't want you to miss out so we'll see you soon so put me on a train I don't care where it's going fly me on a plane maybe out to Wyoming need an RV no plans just you and me I need to go somewhere